Right watch. This is a brief video regarding serial killers and military links. The kind and gentle eyes that you see are those of Dr. Michael Aquino, ex US Lieutenant Colonel specializing in PSYOPs. He's famous for the military paper Mind War, which he later turned into a book. He was part of the Church of Satan until 1975 when he split and formed his own sect called the Temple of Set. This is a satanic organization, but he still maintained his uh, status within the US military, which is fascinating. Now I could go down all kinds of roads with this. That's the problem. There's just too much to talk about, but I want to confine this to a short video. The main point is this. Michael Aquino was part of the Church of Satan. He was working directly with the founders, Anton LaVey and Kenneth Anger. All of these people have a fascination with Nazism. And there's a reason for that. Because Nazism is a religion. And if you dig right down, you'll find that it is based in Satanism. Nazism was based on many things that were promoted by Madame Blavatsky and her Theosophical Society. Highly influential on Hitler. Hitler was an occultist. He read occultist magazines and he read Blavatsky. And Blavatsky wrote, in some cases, fantasies about Aryan Aryan history. And these fantasies can have real life implications when you have a lunatic like Hitler reading it and believing that they can then justify invading countries based on historical fantasies. It's a tactic. It's a scam. Just like Madame Blavatsky. And I want to mention quickly that Madame Blavatsky was directly linked with Freemasons. And some people believe that the Freemasons were the ones who fed her the information that she would publish it. And it was part of um, raising the status of the occult through a woman as well. It was part of um, making women prominent in this. It was uh, a popular thing in the late 1800s. And she was a friend, and some people believe a lover, of uh, Albert Pike. And I want to also briefly mention that Albert Pike was not only a high-level uh, Freemason and um, one of the founders of the KKK, by the way, but he also wrote a couple different books, at least two that I've seen, that were part of um, or regarding ancient Aryan culture, of the Indo-Aryans and the Arano Aryans. He had two separate books on each because there was um, a schism back then which split the culture according to actual real history. And he wrote about that. And why would he write about that? Because they're obsessed with Aryans and Aryan history, just like Hitler was. So then you have these Satanists obsessed with it as well. So Michael Aquino actually went to Germany. He rented out Himmler's castle and performed rituals wearing full Nazi regalia. This is admitted by Aquino himself. Also, Anton LaVey had a huge collection of Nazi memorabilia. This is not a mistake. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I found a high percentage of serial killers have Nazi memorabilia or direct interest in Nazism. 
Now I'll mention one specifically, which relates to, uh, I believe relates to the Church of Satan, is the Zodiac Killer. The Zodiac Killer used the Zodiac sign. It's all famous. Well, that Zodiac sign is basically Odin's cross or the Gnostic cross. It's also the white supremacist symbol. And maybe I'm the only one to notice this, but I've never heard that in any Zodiac documentary. If you read the Zodiac writings, there is mention of uh, specifically Nordic culture and uh, taking souls and stuff like that. This person was a white supremacist. That I can assure you. But it's only my opinion, really. But that's just one little item I want to mention. There's also this throughout uh, the assassins, certain assassins that uh, assassinated presidents and famous people and um, other serial killers, even people like Son of Sam, whose real title, the full title was Son of Sam Hain. So now you're getting into Celtic lore or Celtic names. Uh, even though the perpetrator was supposedly Jewish, yet he admits himself that he joined a satanic cult and met with them, but he would never exactly name them. And the belief is that they were at least related to the Process Church. The Process Church was very friendly with Kenneth Anger from the Church of Satan. And they were directly communicating with Charles Manson. And there were many Manson members who were members of the Church of Satan. And Kenneth Anger used a number of them in his uh, films. Doing the musical score. Beausoleil did the musical score for his films, some of his films. And there were other members of the Manson family who were in Kenneth Anger films. So you have a link between Aquino in the military with Kenneth Anger in Hollywood, essentially. Uh, a Hollywood-type person. Anton LaVey, who's essentially the leader, dressing up like a clown. Like, like Dracula, which is very similar to what Michael Aquino had done when he was on like Oprah Winfrey in the 80s. And I think that's a psychological operation, making people look at you and go, wow, that person can't be for real. They look like they're part of the Munsters, like Eddie Munster growing up. And that's the way I felt when I first saw him. And in retrospect, I think that that is a psychological operation to make you not believe that they're um, important or for real or a threat. So that's just a, a quick um, summation of some ideas. I'm going to be doing another video with further information about some very interesting topics on some th things I've noted over the years that I think will be very interesting to people who are involved with this topic. This is a brief addendum. There were a couple things I could not fit into the video you just watched, but I wanted to add them in because I discovered them while researching the video. Some things that I hadn't run across before. Apparently Michael Aquino wrote a fictional book or novel titled, We Break the Sword, the Nazi Peace of 1940, A Mind War Alternate History. Now what's interesting is the flag at the top appears to be the EU flag, and it's in the form of a swastika. Now why I find that fascinating is that, once again, Michael Aquino is obsessed with Nazis, but it's my determination and many historians that the EU is the Fourth Reich by any matrix. 
So the fact he has the EU in the form of a swastika is fascinating. Go look at your history and find out where the first Reich came from and the second and the third, and you'll determine they are all Catholic empires, 100% created by the Pope. So the other item I found, because I don't eat, breathe, and live Michael Aquino, is that he is now a baron. It says in 2006, following his retirement as a U.S. government officer, he was recognized by Scotland's Lord Lion King of Arms as the 13th Baron of Rasheen, Argyllshire. He is a member of the Clan Campbell. So this is very interesting. I find it specifically interesting because the Scottish are extremely involved with Freemasonry, as everybody knows. But they also used to be called the Psy, or the Scythe, or the Scythians. In days of old, they were snake worshippers. So it's fascinating that the Scottish would determine that someone like Michael Aquino should be assigned the title of Baron. On this altar is uh, one of a number of daggers, which we may use in our rituals. This one happened to belong to the commanding general of the most elite unit of Germany's infamous SS, which was concerned with black magic and occultism research in general. Anything that it could find that had to do with the uh, origins of the human race, destiny of humanity, the perverted view of the occult held by Heinrich Himmler was of an evil magic that could help create a new master race. Wevelsberg Castle is where he performed his ceremonies. I have been to the Wevelsberg, which still preserves Heinrich Himmler's ritual chambers to this day, and have conducted a black magical ritual in the so-called Hall of the Dead beneath the Wevelsberg. This particular dagger is inscribed to our comrade in the Leibstandarte Theodor Wisch, Brigade Führer, a major general in the Waffen SS. And on its blade, it bears the inscription, Mine Era Heist Troy, or My Honor Shall Be Known by My Faithfulness.